Hi, this is City Planner Dan and I'm on location at Micro Machines Travel City. This is review number two. Last time I featured such great buildings as the City Dump and uh, Hospital. And uh, this time I'll finish up with the rest of the seven sets here. Uh, finish all 15 sets. Um, so let's get to it. Remember you can go to times two speed so you're not too bored during this lengthy review. Uh, thank you for watching. Let's get started. Here is the Micro Machines Marina playset from Travel City. This has to be the most out of scale playset in the city. I mean, it's a whole airport on one little block. That's pretty crazy. It comes with this cool little SR-71 Blackbird, much the popular plane in the late 80s. And it has a little control tower and a uh, little hanger for the plane to barely fit into. <laughs> and then it's got this thing, which I'm still trying to figure out what exactly it's for. I think it's for the marina. Um, and it looks like you could, I think what you're supposed to do is, is uh, put your building there and, and your car would drive up onto it and then it would swing around and load the car onto a boat. Um, maybe that, battle, that aircraft carrier they used to sell for Micro Machines, maybe? It's got a little lever that is supposed to drop the car, but mine has been kind of stuck, so I don't want to force it. But that is the marina. Pretty wild set. <laughs> I mean, you got to have an airport, so what the heck? I would put this in the get list. <laughs> Marina. It's the Micro Machines Travel City Battle Block. This is by far the weirdest block in the city. Uh, it features a bunch of cannons and a radar dish. I think in the 80s what made it funny was I actually thought that this sort of thing existed quite frequently in cities. Um, and I always thought that our city had a battle block just hidden inside buildings or something. But to totally funny, it's got these rotating turrets and they actually raise and lower to fold up. Um, it has a um, spinning radar dish and when you turn this, this thing here, the little gate opens and closes um, really slowly. It doesn't even open fully to get a car through. Uh, the set actually features a Jeep, but I got this set from a friend, so I had to buy my own little dune buggy toy. Uh, but this, this set is really funny. Uh, if you don't think the police can defend your city, then get the battle block, because this thing is solid and will take care of any, any sort of predicament. So that is the Micro Machines battle block. On a side note, this was the set I got for the little buggy for my battle block. And what I like about this uh, military set here was this set was used in uh, Home Alone, the original Home Alone movie. And when uh, Kevin is setting up one of his traps for the bad guys, he takes this little missile and goes like this on the floor. And you know one of the battle bad guys is going to step on it and it just looks really painful because of the sharp missile. So that's just kind of a side story I had to throw in. Here is the Micro Machines Travel City drive through Fish and Chips set. This set is truly cool. It is very unique out of all the other sets. Um, the fact that they put the building on its on an angled side overreaching the curved road is great. Uh, it comes with a lot of different little things to look at. Um, we have a building sign for Bill's Fish and Chips. We have a table and chairs kind of behind that. We've got an overhang, uh, squarish building, a little menu fish board up front here. I can't really read the menu. Uh, a nice little walkway up front. Um, and a little dumpster in the back, which is great when the mob needs to get a job done really fast. They can just throw you in the dumpster. 
really clever building for the city. Uh, pretty blue and, and purple. I'm not sure if this is the car that came with it either. I, I had a set of Corvettes that I just use as filler cars. Uh, but one of my favorites, and I think it's, it's a must top five if you want food in your city, or fast food that is, you're going to want Bill's Fish and Chips. So that is the drive through Here is the Micro Machines Suburban House. Oh, I love this set. This is where everyone in Micro Machines City lives. Not many play sets usually feature a house, and that's why I just really think this is one of the best. Best of the best. I'd like to kill the eight-year-old me again who put the stickers on, though. Gosh, idiot. Uh, the Micro Machine Suburban House has a garage door, and you can put your cool Leave it to Beaver car inside. I think the set came with a red car, though, and my friend switched it on me. I'm not sure about that. The set also features a um, little barbecue, tiny little barbecue, um, but I have totally misplaced that and somehow have ended up with a park bench. So um, at least it's in theme. <laughs> Not sure why. It's got a pool on one side, we've got a hot tub on the other. Um, just a really neat little designed playset for your travel city. I would love to buy 10 more of these and, and troop build, <laughs> neighborhood build, the suburban ho house, maybe paint them a different color or something, but a really great addition to your Micro Machine City. Suburban house. It's the Micro Machines Travel City Motel. Say, this looks familiar. Maybe hospital? Okay, there's a lot of repaints in Micro Machine City. Uh, at least they um, change it up with some stickers and colors. Uh, the motel features an ugly pink building, which is blue on the box. And uh, it sure looks like the most seedy motel I've ever seen. Um, definitely the John Arbuckle of motels. Uh, I like how it's got some sort of hangover incident going up on the roof with that bed up there. Uh, the pool isn't fenced in at all. Um, just a really silly, cheesy place to stay in Micro Machine City. Uh, I'm not sure what car it came with. The set I have, I just have a pink convertible. So I like to uh, up the ante with my pocket volcano and uh, continue playing um, some... Uh, Garfield goes to paradise, trying to get the car into the volcano. So that is the um, Micro Machine Hotel, Motel. Uh, pick this one up if you want uh, kind of a more unique building on the lot. It's the Micro Machines Auto Body Shop for Travel City. Yikes, this one's pretty exciting. Looks to be a repaint of the fire station. Or is the fire station a repaint of the auto body shop? I don't know. Oh boy, there's really nothing going on here. Just a building, a car, and a stop sign. Definitely a peg warmer. Um, double bay doors, I guess, nice for repairing cars. It's too bad they didn't include a window to see that happening or some other feature. I kind of thought it would have been neat to have two cars, one car busted up, another car repaired, and you could somehow switch between the two. Um, but that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, pretty boring set, lots of parking. I guess, once again, you can use this as a um, front for the mob. Maybe they have a secret underground base under the auto body shop that they, you know, money launder and do other great things, <laughs> evil things. So that is the auto body shop. Auto body. Ooh, that looks like that car is gonna need some now too. Here is the Micro Machines uh, Travel City Express Freight playset. Uh, if it looks familiar, well, look at there. It's a repaint or a redress of the police department. 
Um, I had the hardest time figuring out what this set really is for, though. Um, for the longest time, just by the Zoom Express Air sign up front, I thought for some reason it was a um, dryer for your wet car. I don't know, that was just a bizarre thought. Um, but then I started thinking, oh, it's Express Air, so I guess it's a delivery service. Um, and they've got a helipad on top, which made it even more uh, hard to figure out. But So they, they transport your stuff via air. Um, I don't have the actual car that came with this set as I got it from a friend too. So I put a, the moving van in front for this review. I kind of like to pretend this is just a front building for uh, the SWAT team. Uh, because I really don't know what else to do with it. It's, it's such a, a unique, weird set. A uh, repaint, they must have just had to come up with something at the last minute. Um, so, that is Express Freight. Uh, you probably really don't need it in your city because it's so, it's so weird. <laughs> Express Freight. It's the Micro Machines Travel City Country Farm. Bonus! Bonus as is, this set is not in the original 15. It is a later uh, additional set. Uh, they're harder to find. Um, but I really like the farm. I really wanted to have, have that a part of my travel city, so I picked that up. Someday I plan to do a part three and review all these sets, but it'll take a while to get there. The Travel City Farm has a neat little textured farm on one side with some plants popping up and a red barn there that you could drive through. has a sign that fits kind of funny because the sticker is going one way and the sign's going the other, but that's where the holes are. Kind of an error. has a neat little pig pen on the side with a fence, some flat pigs. Uh, neat little set, really colorful. The, the red on the barn is really bright and the green is also contrasts really bright. I don't think this is the truck that comes with it. I actually got this truck with a different farm set, but it looks perfect on the farm here. So that is the country farm. Okay, and that concludes all 15 sets of the original Micro Machines Travel Cities. Um, I just love this place set again. They were, you know, really near and dear to my heart over the ages, and I love having them on a shelf somewhere in the house to look at. Um, they're a great play set, you know, had this neat theme to them. They all look good. They're holding up through the ages. A few broken pieces here, lost pieces, but overall, such a great set, and I'm really glad you got through these long reviews with me and, and stuck with it. If you find a favorite set or something you really like, please put in the comments what, what set you liked. Um, they're really, really fun, neat series. So thank you again for watching, and uh, this is City Planner Dan saying have a great day. Oh, Ken, do you think Brighton wants this hat? It's kind of small. Please subscribe to the Squirrel Stampede channel. And for more antics, visit the toymuseum.blogspot.com. Yeah, and as I was saying, Mount Hananui Lui Blah was about to blow, baby. Well, I tell you, the cruiser didn't even flinch. He always knew what to do. He just stepped into his car, revved it up a couple of times, waved goodbye, and raced it in the night towards the volcano. Only moments later, the volcano erupted into a fireworks display you wouldn't believe. Oh, I tell you, we've never seen anything like that before. The sky was filled with all kinds of beautiful reds, yellows, and chromes. <laughs> and the volcano subsided.